So the other day I was watching um, Jill McKeever from Simple Daily Recipes on Hang With Live and um, she was making these um, biscuits from the new Miyoko Shinner or Skinner. I'm not sure how to say her name. I think it's Shinner. Miyoko Shinner. It's like the vegan pantry, her new cookbook. And she shared this recipe with us and they turned out really good. And I actually used applesauce instead of butter and they turned out great and the only problem is I didn't have time to write down the recipe as I was making it because um, you know I was watching her live so I had to do everything really fast so I don't have the recipe <laughs> for this and I'm sad so I'm probably gonna buy that cookbook when I have some extra cash because <laughs> these biscuits are really good and uh, I guess you guys should check out her book if you want <laughs> you know like I think the book has like basic uh, bread recipes and things like that like that are supposed to be like vegan kitchen staples I'm really not sure everything that's in it but it looks like it's a pretty good book and these biscuits alone are worth it <laughs> so my last batch here it goes in the oven it's gonna be on like 14 minutes I think in the oven and then I'll show you what they look like when they're cooked and here's the finished biscuits Awesome, and they're so good. Now I'm making black bean pumpkin brownies, which I've never made before. And I'm using this recipe off of sierraskitchen.com. All right, I just made a double batch of the pumpkin brownies and they're about to go in the oven. the brownies they look really good um I made powdered sugar with a half a cup of uh, cane sugar and a tablespoon of cornstarch in the blender and now I'm gonna cut it and taste it all right we're gonna have the boys do a taste test of these brownies boy okay turn around take yeah. a bite and tell me what you think Oh yeah? Good! Awesome! Yummy! They're healthy too. Do they taste like beans or do they taste like brownies? Brownies. Yeah? Beans and brownies. Really? You taste the beans? But it doesn't taste gross? No, a lot of it. Not really? Is but, it good or but, is it not good? I, I taste a lot of, of the chocolate. So it's good? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Sweet, now I'm gonna try one. <coughs> I have a terrible cough, you guys. I'm sorry. Huh? If I start coughing. Um. I'm gonna taste it. <coughs> Pretty good. Could use a little bit more sugar, I think. But overall, it's pretty tasty, especially for a healthy brownie. It's pretty good. I think I should give it a try. I'm at Walmart. <laughs> and I found these. Look pretty good. How often does that happen? I spent $87 even <laughs> at Walmart. That never happens. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Does anybody else get like, <laughs> I get kind of freaked out about going to the store alone at night. I don't really like to do it, but Luis is gonna take the car to work tomorrow and I'm not gonna be able to go to the store or anything. And it's not within walking distance, so 
decided to stop on my way home because we need bread. And of course, so I ended up buying a bunch of other crap that we don't need, <laughs> but we did need bread and I wanted to get some cream of wheat and they didn't have regular cream of wheat, but they had that malto meal, which it looked like it's pretty much the same thing. So I'm gonna give it a try. And that chocolate chia pudding looks really good. And if that tastes like, like regular pudding, Gary and will freak out, he will love it. <laughs> so I got two of those cause it, it looks like it's vegan. <coughs> Excuse me. I read it twice, as far as I can tell, it looks vegan and it says that you can use almond or soy milk with it, so, which, you know, I would have done anyway, but, and it was organic, so I was like, hey, <laughs> might as well give it a try. Looks pretty good. I was thinking I could make banana, the chocolate banana pudding, and then we could um, put it over some sliced bananas and that would be a nice little dessert. And I've seen someone a long time ago have those kale veggie eaves bites things I forgot already what they're called but they're like you know the mini meatballs that I showed you I've seen, I've seen those <laughs> in a video before and I don't remember but I think that whoever it was said that they were pretty good so I wanted to give those a try because I've never seen them at Walmart before and um, anyway um, really had like nothing to talk about today sorry so you're just getting a mini a mini Walmart haul. <laughs> uh, now I'm gonna I'm heading home and I'm gonna put my food away. And I bought those those crusts to make pumpkin pie. And I already have an egg replacer thing at home that I've never tried before, so I'm gonna use that to try to make the pumpkin pie. And I. I'm, I read the ingredients, but I'm like, now I'm thinking, are they vegan? I'm gonna have to double check the pie crusts. I, I tried to read it. I was reading it in the store when they set the fire alarm off for like a practice test. And I think I got, I think I checked all the ingredients, but I'm gonna double check again when I get home because I've never, I never thought any pie crusts that I've ever seen were actually vegan, so. When I saw those, I was like, oh, they are. But then I'm like, let me let me triple check because <laughs> I want to make sure. I don't want to make another freaking mistake like I did with that bread or whatever it was that one time. Actually happened more than once because Trader Joe's one time tricked me with some meatless, meatless stuff, but it had egg in it. So I want to be extra cautious. Because now that I'm getting brave, I'll go return that shit. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not what I want it to be. <laughs> Normally I'd just be like, oh well, it's too much of a hassle to go return it. But yeah, if it's not vegan, I don't want to spend my money on it. So, oh, oh, I, I forgot. I wanted to ask you guys. Like I've been taking echinacea tea and echinacea like droplets, you know, like, or I was taking it. I totally forgot that I had it and I need to get it out of my purse and take it um but other than that like I heard you know everything in the store everything I mean this makes complete sense everything in the store like Walmart or wherever it can't be in the store it can't be FDA approved unless it's been tested on animals that's what I've heard so I want to know what everybody uses for medication for colds I mean, I know garlic is good and onions is good and echinacea is good, but is there anything that you guys know that's really a good natural homeopathic like medication or something that will just like knock out this freaking cold that I have? This cough, if there's anything specific that you know of that's like good for cough. If you guys could help me out, I would love you. I already love you, but I will love you even more because I feel like this cough is getting worse and worse every day. And I've already been sick for, this is going on three weekends starting tomorrow. It'll be three weekends in a row that I've been still sick. And so if you guys could help me out and tell me like what I could get that might help me, that would be awesome if you know of anything. Other than that, now that I'm thinking about it, I am gonna take some of my echinacea drops when I get home. And tomorrow I'm gonna make a huge pot of stew, or I mean, yeah, it'll be stew, not soup, because I'm gonna put like every freaking vegetable that I have in it. <laughs> and I have some vegetable broth at home that I'm gonna use for that. And I'm finally gonna use some ancient grain 
mix that I've had in my cupboard from Costco for like forever that I keep forgetting that I have. So I'm gonna give that a try. I think it's like a seven grain something or other. I'll show it to you later. But um, anyway, yeah, I have like, I have like carrots and I just bought some leeks and I have tomatoes and orange pepper and I'm just gonna throw like everything I have in this soup and <laughs> probably some beans because we're trying not to spend too much money on groceries. Sorry that it's so dark. I'm, you know, in the middle of the night driving home. It's 11.06 at night. So anyway, yeah, I'm just gonna throw everything, everything that I have and make a big pot of soup for tomorrow. And then I'm probably just gonna put that in the crock pot because I bought that Amy's meal and I'm probably gonna have that for lunch tomorrow because I bought those burritos for the boys because the boys freaking love Amy's burritos. Though I don't think we've tried those gluten-free ones before so hopefully they still like those ones. I don't know how the texture is gonna be on those but hopefully they'll like it because it's the only one that was there that had no cheese in it. And um, yeah so I'm gonna have that enchilada Amy's enchilada for lunch tomorrow and they can have burritos and we'll have a little Mexican lunch and <coughs> that should be good I have not tried that in, I don't well have I I don't know I think I might have tried it a long time ago the enchilada thing but I don't remember for sure so I'm gonna try it again and yeah so that's it sorry I don't have much to say <laughs> I just worked and I'm super happy that today was my Friday and I have another three-day weekend and I think me and the boys are gonna walk to the park again tomorrow give us something to do and I need to start my exercise routine so uh, we're gonna walk to the park and then I think while they're playing I'm gonna walk laps you know, around the park and try to get a little bit of you know fast walking cardio in because I, I have to start my routine even if I'm gonna eat you know even if I'm still gonna have some processed foods every now and then here and there I definitely need to get into a workout routine if I'm gonna be doing that because just eating that stuff and like never working out is not working for me so time to start making a plan on what I'm gonna do for my new workout routine I'm just gonna start slow basically like doing my, um, I gotta open the gate here at home. Please hold. I'm going to get back to doing my physical therapy exercises that I learned back when I first hurt my back and I've been supposed to be doing those this whole time and never do it. So I'm gonna get back to trying to make a routine of doing that every single day, at least once a day. And then I'm gonna start off exercising, you know, by doing like fast walking since it's the weather's starting to cool off and it's um, gonna be nice out, you know. Some days it's nice, some days it's still a little bit hotter, but the weather is gonna cool off more and more this month. And so it's gonna be great to go out walking in this weather. There's some guy walking his dog across the road right now. It looks like he has a pit bull cute um but yeah so then I'm gonna start going to the gym and doing like 10 minutes 15 minutes on the elliptical I'm doing my squats and stuff at home so I'm just not gonna like go crazy and do everything at once in the beginning because I know that if I'm super sore right away if I do like a one crazy workout like right away as soon as I start like trying to do a routine I will give up because I hate I hate when my body feels sore after working out. That's why I never work out, because I hate that feeling. I don't like that burn that you get after working out. So <laughs> I have to go slow and not overdo it because I know myself, I will totally give up. <laughs> anyway, okay, I'm home, so. All right, so this is everything up close. Spinach, bell peppers, leeks, bread. Cereal. I got some table cover and napkins for Thanksgiving next month. They were like two dollars each, so figured what the heck they're kind of cute. I buy this for work because nobody else ever provides anything, and I know it's not really good for you, but 
I don't know, everybody at work likes to use it and it makes everybody feel, <laughs> it makes everybody, I guess, a false sense of security about not getting sick. So I don't know, I'm nice, I buy it for, for the office. My pumpkin pie mix, these are vegan like I thought. I didn't mess up. Wheat and soy, right there it says on the bottom. So that should be really easy to make and good. Peanut butter, oh and I found this which is awesome. I wish it was organic too, but I was gonna get the organic one, but then it was 190 milligrams for one tablespoon for the organic one. So I decided to get this one. Pretty awesome. And then there's my enchilada, which looks really good. Fish fillets, which Luis is, that's his favorite. And chicken tenders is the kid's favorite. <laughs> I love this one, so this one's for me. And then bay leaves for my soup for tomorrow. And then the other things that I showed you at the store. And yep, that was everything for $87. Seems kind of expensive now, but it's probably because I bought all of this processed crap that I probably should not have bought. But oh well, it'll be good. <laughs> <laughs>